Well, on this Money Saving Monday, we're talking about how more parents are now supporting their adult children well into their late 20s and early 30s. Another recent study from the Pew Research Center shows about a third of young adults between 18 to 34 years old are still living with a parent. In fact, here's the breakdown. More than half, 57%, are those between 18 to 24 years old. But to help offset those expenses, nearly three quarters of those kids living at home with mom and dad say they contribute financially to the household with things like groceries, utility bills, or helping to pay a portion of the rent or mortgage. So what are parents to do when there's no empty nest? Let's talk about it. Joining me now is financial expert Angelica Prescott. Okay, Angelica, this is so difficult for yes. both parents and their kids, but obviously more difficult for parents. Yes, because they have less time, but 66% of millennials are really concerned about their parents having enough for their own retirement. So on both parties, there's a lot of stress and anxiety. Yeah, so let's start at the beginning. What can parents do? First, have an honest conversation about money with the kids. This is kind of where we break the ice and start talking about, all right, what are you doing? How much are you saving? Now that you're staying at the house, what are you putting aside? Because trust me, there's no free ride outside of these four walls. Right. So to train them from then to be able to help out and put some money aside themselves would train them enough so that when they step out, they're not surprised with the shock of the bills. Yeah, it's almost like they have to be, the parents have to be their own financial consultant of their kids. Yes. Like, let's divvy up this paycheck. How, mm -hmm. much, you, how much can you contribute? Or not, and right? do a strategy because it can end up being positive. It doesn't always have to be negative, but it actually can end up positive for both parents and the kids to stay together and reduce their expenses individually. And maybe the parents are able to save on their own as well. Yes. Okay. So speaking of kids, what can they do? Well, have an honest conversation with your parents. If you're staying there or if you're seeing that they're struggling, because sometimes the story is opposite, right. and parents are coming in to live with you, find out what's the strategy for you, mom and dad. Yes. How are you doing with your strategies? Are you doing sound decisions or bad decisions? Because the best thing your parent can give you is advice of things not to do based on their own life. Yeah, you know what? I'm so glad you actually mentioned that because I didn't think of that. And mm -hmm. it's so real these days mm -hmm. is parents having to sometimes live with their kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, especially widows. There's a high demand on widows going back to live with their kids, not necessarily going to a nursing home. Right. And at times it can help with the kids. I mean, there's value that can be brought into this. There's certain cultures where this is absolutely normal. You so read my mind, because I was going to mm -hmm. say in the Asian culture, absolutely yeah. Normal. I mean, a lot of times the parents, they do live mm -hmm. with the children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. But being able to break that down and ask the parent, if you were to be 86 years old today, mom, would you want to be in a nursing home? Mm -hmm. or would you want to live with us? Who do you have a soft expectation is going to step in? Yes. And which daughter or son-in-law doesn't really like you that you make sure you don't want to live with? <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which, yeah, which child is going to be the easiest to live with really at that point? Yes. Okay, so here's another realistic problem. What yes. happens if parent and child are not on the same page. Oh, bring a mediator. Whether yeah. it's a financial advisor, whether it's a therapist, whether it's a psychoanalyst, whatever yeah. it is, or a family member who has done well financially that can kind of see through the noise right. and create a solution. Strategy is key because if you're not realistic about what's going on, the truth is gonna fail you. Yeah, okay, so bottom line in all this. Make sure that you're authentic about your answers. Don't lie. If you're not doing great sound decisions, address it now so you have more time to work on it. Parents and kids, the more authentic and honest we are, the more we can solve. I know, and it is a tough conversation to have. It is. But once you just, you know, dive into it and then just address it. I've been That's here the for part. 18 years and I promise you there's no conversation that's the same as the last. Yeah. Everything's unique. Fight forward. And you have a lot of clients who actually go through this. Oh my gosh, I just talked about it 20 minutes before I walked in. <laughs> I think I heard you on the phone. Yeah, on speaker. Yeah, exactly. Yes. All right, Angelica, always great advice. Thank you so much. It's your turn now. If you have any questions you want to ask Angelica today, text us 602-444-1212. Again, make sure to let us know who you are and where you're texting from, and we'll get some of your questions answered live on the air in about 20 minutes. Lindsay, over to you. All right.